So in this q and I'm gonna talk about whether it's possible to find an edge within the horse racing handicapping system. Okay, thanks for the question. Um, I think this has come up before, previously on the blog, probably years ago now, uh, but is it possible to make money from the horse racing handicapping system? So there's a few things I wanna say on this. Um, first of all, I'll tell you, you're not wasting your time. You're not wasting your time in looking at this. It depends how you look at it though. So where there's a system, there's opportunity to understand that system fully, uh, its limitations, who's involved, and where maybe you can you can get an edge in the betting market from it because other people are exploiting the system, if that makes sense. Uh, it's probably quite obvious to some people what I'm talking about here. Um, because when there's a system, people abuse it. So it's a case of finding your edge uh, on the edge of that system, at the limitation end of that system, and where it's abused possibly, and so how that exhibits itself within the betting markets, and then you can then turn that into a profit. So uh, how you exploit the market, it's, it's like order flow. So order flow is very important within the markets. I've spoken about it many times over a longer period. Um, however, if you spot increased order flow and increased activity, um, which is disproportionate to the market and the odds and, and the traded volumes, all the things involved with that. Uh, it's disproportionate in an area where you expect that maybe somebody is exploiting the system, then that can provide a very strong indicator in terms of choosing you know, which trade you're gonna make. Now, in order to do that, obviously, as a bang on with everything, you have to understand the behavior, the limitations, and all, all the different variables within that market and the, and the reasons that certain things operate as they do. But aside from that, um, if you look at some of the very human elements of the market and how they exhibit themselves, then you start to understand uh, what and who is behind the activity and, and more importantly, who, um, or where, where the, I'm trying to be careful how, how I word this, but where the increased money uh, it, it shows itself in the market around various situations. So for example, you might find that certain owners like to have a gamble, um, so certain trainers and yards are linked with uh, increased betting activity and possibly um, manipulating the handicapping system or you know playing it to their advantage. And so that, that shows itself within the betting market. Um, and that, uh, people are often looking for indicators inside the market that are based on you know things such as weight and stuff with the handicapping system and that's not necessarily the area I'm talking about here when I'm talking about finding an edge within a handicapping system I'm talking about um, using the market as your strongest live feed if you like because at the end of the day the betting market is the purest form of a live feed and you know well it's completely live there's no delay it's showing you what's actually happening rather than what you want to see happening. Um, although when you can see something is actually happening around a system like the handicapping system um, at the extreme end of its limitations in an area from people where you may expect increased activity, uh, things start to fall in place. I think I've given away quite a little bit there. Um, obviously it takes quite a bit to piece it together without me actually definitively telling you. but that's where you should be looking at in terms of the handicapping system if you're looking to exploit that, um, in my personal opinion. So when I first started trading, I started trading cold. I didn't know a lot about racing at all. Um, and I still don't know a huge amount about racing in the sense that I understand uh, how, how the horses race and all that kind of stuff. However, I do understand what the handicapping system is, um, how the weights work, where certain people may be renowned for exploiting that system and how to get the most from it. I mean, at the end of the day, if you take it outside of trading and think about in the, in the real world, something like, I mean, if you meet a chick in the bar, it's far easier to um, work that to your advantage. If you understand everything about her, you know what she likes, uh, you talk about things that she likes and, and, you know, and, and sort of relate. If you can relate, if you're relatable to it and you understand 
where the benefit is it for the, for the other party, then you can start to work your edge, if you like. Um, but in the betting markets, it's no real different. If you, if you understand how the system works, rather than knowing every single horse and who's the best horse and who's the best trainer, and not, not interested in any of that, but I'm more interested in where does the money go down, why does it go down, uh, where is the advantage for somebody who's putting the money down, and so I can almost front run that money within the market and make a profit.